justified fire in the hole. Airport's a good 45 from here. But I figure you'll be all right if you leave in the next two minutes. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, my friend. But you gave me until 2.15, right? Yeah. Now you've got two minutes. You know, I've been coming here ever since I was a kid. Ever since this was nothing but Jews and old Kogans. And to tell you the truth, I love it here. I really do. I did it then, I love it now. So I'm not going to leave. So have a meal with me. Okay, you hungry? I swear you pass up. Those are the best crab cakes in town. I swear to God, must remember. Then the crap we were eating in Managuru. Remember that? I don't know if it that, that was Mexican. Pork we can I don't know what it was, but it was crap. Remember, I hated it. I don't mind it. Didn't mind it. I had some pork dish I quite liked. One minute, a second ago, you said two minutes. What's going on here? Time flies, huh? You? Your character. I tell you my friends this morning how yesterday you come to me and you don't get if you don't get out of town in twenty four hours I'm gonna shoot you on sight. Come on. Why is that? They thought it was a joke. They started laughing. Well, tell them about the man you killed, the way you you did it. Cause I found nothing funny in that. Maybe he should have killed you, huh? Maybe he should made a mistake. Well, we all have regrets. Cut me a little slack here, okay? Does nothing count? I let you live? No, I'm giving you the same consideration right now. You can get up and go. 30 seconds. So what are you going to do in front of all these people? Oh, are you going to pull out a gun? You're going to shoot an unarmed man? You unarmed, huh? Hey, you got eyes. You see a piece on me? 20 seconds. Okay, 10. You know what? Seriously, you come here, interrupt my meal. You you won't eat. You don't want to eat with me. This is bullshit. This is green bullshit. Years of eternity is going to have a lot of questions. Nothing I can't answer. You think you that you cornered him. You may think you cornered him. Don't give him a choice. Oh, he had a choice. How's the hat? It was, I was wondering if it shrunk, you know, got a little too tight. You had to take off your head. Now you're suffering from sunstroke. You know, so do you know that they're not allowed to shoot people on sight anymore? I didn't. I haven't been, hadn't been for, I don't know, maybe 10, 100 years. Paul, Paul first. It's not about who pulled first. You remember the meth head last year? The one who pulled the shotgun? They didn't know on that, what, that, what, page nine? This is bullshit. This is going to be on the nightly news. DOG inquiry number 359-826 into the shooting death of Thomas Francis Buckley on May 3rd March 3rd to 2010 in Miami, Florida. Would you like to make a statement? The Marshal's Office has conducted an internal investigation of the proceedings at Curd Hotel in question. On Dan. Come on. Let's just keep it simple, huh? He pulled first. I shot him. Well, I thought that might well. You thought that might well. I had a phone call this morning from the director. For all that, the director got a phone call from the AG. Now, let me put it to you this way. The weather forecast is for a shitload of shit rain down on the office from Washington. I'm going to res- resign you. Prison transport? No, I'm getting you out of Dodge. You mean manpower in the Eastern District of Kentucky? I called the- talked to the chief in district, A. Art M- M- Mullen. Says you, you talk, you, says you guys talk firearms together. It's true, good, girl code. No, no, Dan. I grew up in Kentucky. I don't go back there. Well, then we have a problem because you don't want to go back to Kentucky. You cannot. I only circumstances stay here. 
Got any more skew, other skills? I better co- come down. For the mammy officer, I expect. Not with you here. Got to see you. Good to see you. Well, I don't always overwhelmed. We was, I won't be, I won't over with you. With everybody's name right now. Gonna go and have a drink. Sounds good. Follow me and I'll pack up and we'll go. Look, the same as you did in Groco. Same coat, same boots. The boots are fairly new. Don't tell me that hat is. No, it's old. Have a seat. You were looking, well, are you working Fuji, Fuji's Miami? Uh-huh. Yeah, I did, yeah. Well, here, everyone who does everything. Fugitive, witness, protection, geotrugical protection, photo photos, prisoner transport. Boy, every office I ever worked in prison transport was a shit detail. The chief always gives you see it as a transient punishment. But here, we all do it. Even you? Oh, hell no. I heard about you and Wayne Oma. Who? From who? Where am I? She works here, Lexicon. In the courthouse. She's a court, court reporter. Well, I know she was coming back to Kentucky. I thought, I, ma- I think her mum took you. I thought that was why you picked Kentucky. Ah, uh, no offence, I didn't pick it, Kentucky. I talked to you to your marshal down there in Miami. Tell me about the shooting. It's justified. Concern about me coming down here. It's a small office right around the land. Concern when we switch brands to coffee. Is it? Is it your dad still down there in Harlem? Far as I know. Thought you were from there. Reason I ask. U.S. Authority, US authority attorneys trying to build their case against this guy in Heartland. Heartland, and he's about the same age as you. It's a small town. Thought you might know him. Boyd Crowder. My God, Art. You, uh, any other shit you want to dump on me tonight? You do know him. Yeah, I know him. Yeah, Boyd and I dug coat together. Coal together. When we were 19. Well, Boyd, what do you think? Well, Jared, I think it sucks. What? Why? I appreciate the sentiment wanting to go after a federal building under construction. Do you see? We need as a whole box of Urex to bring that down. As if you got the cuts in the steel. All we got is a rocket launcher. Impressive as that is, the only thing it's going to do is knock some shit around. But you don't you worry about it. We just go for plan B. Plan B? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's always a plan B. I used to be a f- couple crackers and the SUV would sit the jingle on, jungle on edge. It's surely our end times. All right, this is right here. See the street up there? Make a night, right. This is quite right. Is it, is it good right here? Well, I believe we should, could take it up from here. Well, I, what are you going to blow up? Are you, are you going to blow up that church, boy? There's the people on the streets. They're going to see us. They're going to undo my car. You're worried about your car? Find a hole buried beyond the power of the man. He crawled in a hole in his case of Lulex 5-0-2-0. Come out. Steam wire. Call out fire and hole to clear the shaft. She'll blow and we'll go back and dig out the pieces. We wasn't... It wasn't what you, you call bodies, but you work in a Deep mind for man. we man, you look out for each other. Well, after that, we joined the army. You went to Kuwait for Desert Storm, and he came back for a couple of years. He quit playing his taxes, claimed that he was a sovereign citizen. And yet, so the US attorney just went, sent him down to Elsesson. That's why he got involved in the Patriot Movement, a white supremacy bullshit. Got to Making home shit bombs. Home shit bombs, you know. Fertilizer and fuel. fuel. Come into town like a stormer set. We blow out a car. The wall, and then while the kids are busy, we go to rubber bank. So that is Steve McQueen film, yeah? Well, these guys aren't the movie actors. Do he change much? Other than the fact he does, he now a racist arsehole. He lost some of the hair. But that's about it. How come you didn't want to blow up that church? I told you I don't want them to ID my car. I got to thinking that maybe you had a version to hurting people. Hell no. Yeah, well, 
I got to thinking that a building under construction might just be kind of an innocuous target. You know what that means? It means harmless. It might just be the kind of harmless target the federal bureau of pluralism might be willing to sacrifice in order to get someone deep in the movement. You think I'm a snitch? All I know is you don't have any uh, tattoos. You've been rubbing your head like you don't think his his hair that hair's gonna gonna rub grow back. You f- you think I'm a snitch because I rub my head? I mean, you understand where I'm coming from, right? I mean, you come out here from Oklahoma full of piss and vinegar, talking about how you try to spray train, paint similar hooks, saying you want to blow sh- some shit up. Hey, you don't believe me. You check it out. Why do you call Oklahoma? Where we are, devil's going, doing it as we speak. Yeah, well, you'll see, Boyd. I ain't no snitch. Right. Well, you, you said, like you said, we see right there. Hey, turn that shit off. Why don't you eat my, uh, why don't you eat my ass? How, how, how do you do out of the way? Get over the primary. Was a waste of time, but took care of the secretary just fine. Where are you at? He said seventy to five and Tate's Creek Road. Oh, hey, you had a call from Oklahoma. Jared checks out. How did he? How did he do? We do. I had to go. Let Garrett go. It was because he didn't just trust him. We didn't like him very much. Probably a little bit of both. I'm going to need you to pick me up, though. I was still, I will show, I will show that my client did not engage in fraud. A port of forensic accountant will show that any anomalies are due entirely to misentering of amounts of common belt taking error and by no means fraud. Thank you, counsellor. Well, the prosecution, please but approach the jury. Thank you, Your Honour. It might seem like a simple but technical mistake, but the state will prove there's a malicious intent. One second, sorry. I was in the courthouse. I was up. I'll be up in a minute. Takes Creek Road. I know. I think I know where that is. County Sheriff Deputy found it just after dawn. Jay names Jared Hall. Hell. Burr has been, has him listed as a kind of angry alien knight. Okay, with driver license registration. Registration. You got him connected to Boyd. So far, tenderly. I got to, I talked to his sister, Toza Loza. Toza. She said he came to Kentucky to hook up with some commandos. Now there's probably the murder weapon. That's probably the murder weapon. It recently been fired. There are no prints on it. In fact, the whole vehicle's clean except for this. Now, do you know what it, it is? That is? I don't either. That is a cap that goes on the end of a launch rocket launcher. Oh shit, in the air. The other night in Lexington, we had a church bombing and the Fred's leave. So wherever did it use a rocket launcher? Hey, all the wits say the same. Two white males drove up to a dark SUV. They parked at the corner of the curb. One male got out and they looked, looked like bazooka. Well, it looked like a bazooka. He said a few words, fired at a church. What did he say? A fellow got out of his SUV. One said, I, it, it was lies and whole woos. Never heard. Time to go. My favourite, Heidi, 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 ho. Oh. Maybe we should put an EPB on the cab getaway. I think he's dead. And we should be easy to find. The pastor had it different. He heard a man say, fire in the hole. You know what you, what you could do? Just do your job. I just, I can understand why you're upset. Did the good pastor say he got a good look at the shooter? He says, no, I bet if, if he put Chow, Carada in a lineup and told the pastor the trigger man was there, it might jog his memory. Rachel, why don't you go and ask our friend who will have a word with us? Don't be, be nice. Why am I ever not nice? You think Frandles going to work on a operate? Frandles are you pre- youth of uranium by way of Jamaica. 
by way of being completely full of shit. Computer cool and beautiful JC was once one of these churches claims the marijuana is a sacrificial herb. You're protected by the constitution, contrary to dope sellers, because selling games to the kids means you're a drug dealer. I would have sworn I told her to be nice. Pastor Fedre, if I could talk with you, for but just one moment. No, you could not. I am Peter Tosh one. I saw Peter Tosh once. You soon, soon because I'm black, I have a, and have a drinking accent. I like reggae. People soon a lot about me. Is that the way the world has has? A, who is he? Pete Tosh is not my taste, but the girl I chased and loved him. I gotta just let her stay with the uncle. For I let, let, took her to off to, to jail. What do you want? That was a close one. I felt that air move, Boyd, Boyd. What's all the fuss? They're out of the NTA. They've brother got shot. What? Where? At his house. His house. I don't ask. Where is his bo- Where on his body? I don't know. Well, is it serious? Oh, yeah, he's dead. Do you know Bowman Crowder? Boyd's brother? Sort of. So I was running back into high school. Boyd was always saying Bowman had the goods to go pro. I was sure, never that sure. You remember that girl he married? Iva is the same one she lived down the street. She married a Bowman. She was. She ended up in a union last night with two three oh thirty dash oh six plugged. He right for the heart. That's the sheriff's report. She admits shooting him. She says she got tired of Bowman getting drunk and painting her. Still she's still in custody. She's arranged ten minutes. And they arranged, regulated, ten, ten minutes ago. Oh, oh, oh. Did you talk to her? I did. I told her, given, I told her, given Boyd's reputation, reputation's gonna, gonna come looking for her. He, she said it's none of her or business. I told her it is. He shoots, if he shoots her, we should go and talk to her again. Is that what the, is that the address? Yeah. But, but good luck in finding it. I tried to, ma- to map it, but nothing. Well, I guess some places haven't been entered in the system. Like North Korea and the Rhineland's hometown. I know where it is, a world of faith. Um, it puts the believer in the driver's seat. It puts God in his will, his plan to your life in a passenger seat. Oh my God, Rhineland, you remember me? Remember me, huh? I never forgot you. I had a crush on you from the little time I was 12 years old. I knew you liked me, but you didn't want to show it. Too young, I was 16 when you left. I heard you got married. Are you still? Turned out to be a mistake. You want to talk about mistakes? I told Bill Roman, I wanted a divorce, he goes. You fell, you never be seen again. I said I'd disappear from the face of the earth. It said I'd disappear from the face of the earth. Do you want to drink our love one? I married him a year ago uh, out of high school because he was cute. He was sure of himself and told me he'd never work on a goddamn, uh, he'd never work in a goddamn coal mine. He wore the blue and white of the University of Kentucky and he agreed drafted to a protein and he wouldn't mind his cowboys. What do you want in yours? Uh, you want, I've got Diet Coke. Cola, R C cola, Dr. Pepper, just ice. I just, I never forget to the, fill the trays. Bowman starts, started, started, start clapping me. What's wrong with you? You don't know. Do you know how you to keep house? That's, a, that's all started as soon you realise and you're never getting out of Harland. You blamed it on me. It was my fault. You had to go a bit cold. It was my fault. A miscarriage after he beat me and his belt. He didn't have a son to take Harrington with him. His creepy brother bullied. Last time he hit me because I called his brother creepy to his face. And he kept after me with that belt till I fell out, fell and I hit my head on the stove. I got on the floor numbing. He was never going to hit me again. Next night he came in. I had his favourite supper on the table. How many yams and ice cream corn. Cream cell horn, corn, a leftover ochre, fix of tomatoes. I were eating his shoving down his face, food on his face. Then I got out his deer rifle from the kitchen closet, closet, and got in there, and I did what I had to do. I just finished cleaning it up. 
I just scrubbed the wall with Lysol, with Lysol, you know, to get the stain off of it. Lysol is the best cleaning product you can buy. You got, I still got a knot where I fell. I hit my head on the stove. You want to feel? Dear Lord, it, it, my hair's a mess. You close your eyes. I don't want to see you, me like this. Close your eyes. You close your eyes. I don't want you to see me like this. Rylan, the minute you walked in, I know something, everything's going to be all right. I write about you. About what? Having a crush on you. You're a good kisser. I was thinking we have to stop doing it. That. Why? This is a social call, Eva. I came to Harlan on business. Well, you tell me all about your business when I get out of the shower. Who in the hell are you, the undertaker? I might be undertaking a situation here. But let me see your chest. You buy that necklace or poach the gator and yank the teeth out. I shut her and ate to the tail. A world put it, put you in, that would put you in Florida. Around Lake Okasi, be Berger Glade. Who are you, Ryland Gavin Gavins? I was detect- I'm a detective, United States Marshal. Never tell you mind telling me who you are. You know, you know your name, don't you? I oh, Dewey Dewey Crow. I made a sent a boy to start from Dewey's Crow. Then called Dewey Crow Junior. He's my kin. Where are you? What are you doing here, Mister Crow? I came to take Ava somewhere, place. Ava, let me tell you something. You don't walk into a person's house unless you've invited. And do you, what do you better? What you better do do is go on outside, and knock on the door. If Ava wants to see you, I'll let you in. If you don't, you'll be on your way. All right, I'm going to go out. And then I'm gonna come, I'm coming back in, Mr. Crow. You better stay, hold on there a while, sec. I'll explain something to you. I want you to understand. I didn't pull my side on, unless I'm gonna shoot the kill. That uh, is all, uh, that's its purpose, huh? The kill. So let's, let's, uh, so that's how I, that's how I use it. I want you to think about that before you act. It's too late. Jesus Christ, I've got a skirt gun pointed right at you. You, can you lo- rack it? In the load before, put a hole for you. Where you, where do you want to take Ava? Man, I don't understand you. Boy, want, Boyd wanted to see her. It's none of your business. You know, Boyd, I oh, were buddies. We dug coal and drank beer together. In fact, if you, you see him and tell him I'm Harland. Alright, and hey, and if I, if you don't, if it was you, give out this nasty bullshit. Go back to poaching go- gators. It's safer. Next time I see you, I wanna tell boy my old buddy wants to wants to see him. Raylan Givens. My only reason I can't don't take Eva out and shoot her is I see she had no choice in what she's done. I mean, don't want to get me wrong. I want my brother, but you knew Bowman. You knew how he got could get how you could get and that woman she showed some spunk you think about it doing what she did and then there's a bible in the bible it says that a man should see to the need of his brother's widow i tend to do that well are you sure i'm taking this all this sweet time hey let me ask you something shouldn't we have our money for your boys and exes and by now i'll give them a call don't worry they're a good, good they're a good friend yeah, they're damn, you're damn right they're good for it. Cause if they ain't good for it, I'll go down there and blow this shit up too. Hey, come on, come on, go right now. Yeah, right now, right now, right now. Come on, let's go. What was that? Dewey Co- who was that? Dewey Crow. One with the hell Hitler on his neck. He one of Bowman's buddies. You didn't, you haven't seen Boyd. I mean, since no. But he'll be, he'll be after me now. I know. You've been, he's been after me, yeah. That's why, that's why we need to keep an eye on you. We are, you know, I'm from the Marshal Service. I believe mean, your mother told me before you pass, been to see your father. Are you looking for, are you looking for Boyd? We are, we are, but we have to catch him in the act. Blowing a bank, blowing up a church, making an attempt on your life. Mine? You said yourself he'd be coming after you. Ryland, Ryland, Boyd doesn't want to shoot me. He wants to get go to bed with me. You want me to help you catch him? Maybe you could get him to talk to talk to me. I could do that. You know, you know where he is? 
I do. Uh, did you want to tell what? Uh, what did you want to tell me? What do I get if I do? Hey, who do you know drives a town car? Look at you, a suit, a necktie, looking good, looking like a long man. Now I see this is how you wear a hat, all casual, not down your goddamn ears like you do. I heard you call on, called on Eva, but a boy, Dewey, said he had to run you off. You believe that? Not if you, not if you say it wasn't so. Shit, I'll take care of him. Devil, get us, get us a jar and two glasses. This party is just, oh, just for Brylon and me. Go on. He just got his release, so he's feeling a bit itchy. I can tell. Old times, you've been going so long. God damn. So what is life like in Florida, just as we advertise, hot, sunny, hot? Oh, you know, I don't, I just don't think, didn't think I could take me to a place of flat. You seen your daddy right yet? No, not yet. Boy, he's a wild man back in his days, wasn't he? Just, what was the scam he's giving you food back in the early 90s, stealing my machinery, selling it to the Cobombians, getting paid to buy c- cocaine. You remember that? Guess I was gone by then. How's your daddy? I said, hey, you know how my dad, you know how my daddy, well, all these, all these days, good and bad, and all good, long gone now, everything's changed, it, it's all changed, the mine changed, no one's falling a seam on the ground, to able to take the tops of the mountains, and let the slag run down, and run in the creeks, hey you remember the picket lines, don't you, courts backing the b- b- company, company scabs, and gun thugs, who say you think that the government's been, always been on the island, ask the people with money, ask the people with money, you, and who do you think controls that money? Who do you think wants to monopolize the world? Who are the Jews? Boyd, you know what are you Jews? See your coat, your coat skins. You don't know, you don't know no more, do you? Than you do. They don't know more, more, more than you do. And I have to teach them that we have got a moral obligation to get rid of the Jews. See? That it was in the Bible. Where in the beginning is part of creation. See, in the beginning, right, they had been, had, you had your mud people, who were referred to as beasts because they no souls. See, the state was soulless. And Cain, you remember Cain now? Well, Cain, he laid down the mud people, and out of these four cations came the anonymities. Then, you, then do you know who anonymities are? Who? They are Jews, Ryland. You're serious? Read your Bible and interpreted by experts. Now, Boyd, I f- think you, you just use the Bible to do whatever you like, how you like. Well, what do you, do you think I like in Ireland? I'd like to get some money and blow some shit up. I know about your friend Devil and his record, so, your record selling dope. I am really willing to bet you he blew up the church, at Church of Lexington, not because it was black, because it, I was do- it was a dope store. Ten to one, you got paid to do it by some other dope dealer who wouldn't, didn't like the idea of that preacher getting a free pass from the police. Win win for you. Well, it wasn't it, Boyd. Not only did you get the, right, the blow something up to the Marines, you got money. So I'm giving you the benefit. You are aren't mental. I know you're not stupid enough to believe that mud stuff people's story. You think you know me? Well, I know you, Deputy Marshal Roland Gibbons. I know you like to shoot bad people. I know about the gun and the whole thug you shot in the hotel with me. You know about that? Oh, yeah, yeah. We have a TV down here, you know, Roland. But you know, at any point when you were looking at the gun, that f- gun thug, do you see your daddy's face? The reason I'm here. We're having a little nine till nine up tomorrow in the courthouse. What do I do now? Well, we got to witness, we got a witness. So a bit man, like a fire bazooka at church. Now I appreciate it. If, I, if you'd be in that lineup. Well, I bet you, you would. You need to, sh- you need to show up or we we'll come to get you. Hey, Roland. Let me ask you a question. Would you shoot me if you got the chance? Make, make, sh- me, make, you make me pull, I'll make you, I'll put you down. Well, Reverend, what do you think? 
I don't know. You don't. It was dark and the man was far away. Have you had anyone, sh- have you had anyone shoot a rocket at you? We didn't, you didn't stand there and look. You know, I just ran. I was cut him loose. Well, I did my part and showed up. Why are you walking in past my, a going in law enforcement? appealed to you, especially since you knew that the preacher didn't have the balls to pick you. It was always good to see you, Violent. Hey, you know, that man you shot in Florida. Well, my very Jewish cousin's down there. He said that he had a fumer. He gave you that gun thug 24 hours to get out of town or he shoot him at sight. Is that true? I gave him the option to leave Miami. He turned it down. What would you say if I made you the same offer? You get out of Highland County, but tomorrow noon I'm gonna be looking for you. Doesn't that sound fair? Now you're talking, hey, Mr. Lawyer's t- talking to the prosecutor. Come with me while I smoke. I plead, plead to manslaughter. I don't have to go to prison. No, if you have to, I have to do it. I have to. It was worth it. Hey, why don't you come up by supper and pick up a couple of flyers? Sit, fix them up, use some hot biscuits and gravy. Look at me, flicking and flicking your fingers. All my life, fried chicken's been my favourite. And why, but I shouldn't, but why not? Because an eye for the law isn't supposed to be socialising, defending the murder investigation. I didn't know that. It's sort of frowned upon. I'll be fixing it anyway. You big boy, Ryland. You want to come? There's nothing on earth that's going to stop you. It isn't for Boyd. I don't know I'll be some other of a, I have to be so, me me some of Ava wasn't for Boyd me and you could have um, have us have, 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 have us as a marshal so what what did Boyd say exactly he's coming for you or he were coming he said he was he was but we don't know whether he wants to shoot you or blow you up do we and then again he just he could even just jump the gun and come after you while well, you ain't looking, if you were. For you, I'd look under the car before I'd turn the game die. Every time. What? Well, they're all big game hunters of Ireland. Except you're, that, 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 you're the bait. You're kind of like the goat tethered to pole. All I'm going to do is keep you in sight. You're evolving this. Join this, aren't you? Yeah. Well, he's at the hotel with his friends. Well, do you see you uh, do you, well, do you see our friends? I do. What do you want us to do? Sit tight. Hey, Mia. You expecting someone? Ava? Hey, hey, Ava. You expecting anyone? Hell, hey, give me that, them things. What are you doing out there? You folks are missing a hell of a show. I think Rachel's trying to shoot the moon. Don't try. I do. Are you, and you weep. Why well, a single solitary tear? Hello, can you smell the cricket chicken flying? It's to be done the time, done by the time get here. I'm on my way. Boys at Eva's. You sure? I'm not saying there was a, I'm not saying there was a gun at his head, but he didn't stand right. Just hit me, hit it. There, call Ryland. Tell him to get, keep his eye open. What, what do you, where do you want? Money. Keep going. I had Eva. Get, we got this. We got this. Go. You got, you get around. You want, you want me to kill them or wing them? Let's start with the winging. Are you okay? I got hit. Can you, can you, can you shoot? I think so. Let's just finish this thing. Please and either one of you do something stupid. Hey, where are you, where are you? What are you? You see us. Are you seeing us, you moron? You want, we want, we should wrap ourselves around a tree? Kite on me. What the hell is he doing? He must be sneaking up on the house. No, he isn't. So, tell me. What's going on? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you guys. There isn't nothing going on, alright. We just, we just had one, uh, just uh, out, out, uh, we just out running again. Around, all right, Boyd. Just wants to have a word with you, or is it, is it all? You tell me he's going to shoot me, and what are you asking us for, Arsenal? Outlaw's life's hard, in it. 
cuff your left hand and put it for the steering wheel. And the cuff gator, and cuff breaker boy. Go on, come on. Give me your hat, stupid. You don't need to say anything. I swear to my God, why don't, I don't know what he was, that he was coming. I believe you. No shotguns allowed in the dining room. Toss it outside. Go on. Eva, why don't you go to the kitchen? Maybe watch some TV or something. Go on. Well, come on and in. Come on in. You sit down. Help yourself, Roland. Gravy isn't bad. I mean, isn't that your mummy used to make? But it isn't. But it never is, is it? Let me ask you something. You shot, you, when you shot the fucking mammy, there was food on the table like this. There was. Well, there's, have something. Have a little chicken. And you, well, you had your gun. What kind was it? That, 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 that time it was SGI 226. And now where was I? Well, where was it? The table? Where? Mine is? Where is it? Where was it? Was it on the table? Mine is? It was holstered. Bullshit. It's holstered. And where was his? On the table. And where did he have? What did he have? What kind of piece? I mean, I don't recall. Well, how could I know when to pull? How did you know when to pull? He gave, he went up, he went up first. And you gave the gun thug? You gave the, this gun thug. Now we're the time up with sh- when you shot him, pretty close. How much time do you think you got left? I thought that it was till to morning tomorrow. Well, what I said was, what if I said is right now? I mean, unless of course you want to finish that, that chicken's leg. Well, well, you you can call it off. I mean, I don't mind. Well, if you're gonna keep up, if you're gonna keep after me, Ryland, I figure out we might as well get her done. Right, you're forty-five on the table. I have to pull. Is that how you do it? Well, I appreciate that, Ryland. But yes, I do believe it's my call. What are you packing? You pay for to find that out. You got ice cold water running through your veins. Well, we should we just do this and shoot? Yeah. Well, should we just do us a shot of John Bean just for old times' sake, either? Get rid of it, get, uh, get us a shot of Jim. You want to know what about Bowman? Said when he, he looked up and saw me with his dirty rifle. God damn, Bowman. You're only people. You only shot people when they eat his supper. He had his mouth full of sweet potato, he said. The hell is you good doing with that? Eva had put the gun down, please. You know what? You know. You want to know what I said? I'm going to shoot you, dummy. I'm going to shoot you, dummy. You did it. Huh? You really did. He did. I'm sorry. But you called it. Why you call- say you're sorry? Boy, and I dug cold again. A coco. Why didn't you teach those recruits that the aim of the heart, the toilet's broken? You need some one downstairs. It's cold up here. Well, you need the door open. No, I did not need the door open. Hello, someone did it. It wasn't me. Jesus Christ. Hello, Gary. Roland, you better almost give him a heart attack. Sorry about that. I told him if you're going to shoot him, you would have done it six years ago when I left you. What are you doing here, Roland? I'm going to be working in Kentucky. Working for the marshal's office, Roland. What are you doing here? I was in Ingramara a while back, looking for this money, Lord named Roland Pike, a Gartel's gun thug, paid about, about so many ducks, looking for him too, but got me, got, took my gun, put me in a car with some other man, drove us to some old coconut plantation, tied the man to a palm tree, and asked uh, me where Roland was. I told him my, what I knew. No sense of lying. I guess you didn't, wasn't certain he could believe me. Needed to be sure. Or, or he just wanted to press upon me how serious he was. But I watched his tiny bucks stuck a stick of dynamite in that poor man's mouth, taped it so he couldn't spit it out to lit the fuse. Next time I saw Timmy Bucks in Miami, I told him he got 24 hours to get out of town or to kill him. Did you? Yeah. But he, 
he he called first, so I it was I was justified. What troubles me is what troubles me is what if he hadn't? What if he just sat there and let the clock run out? Would you kill him anyway? I know I wanted to. I guess I just just never thought to myself, I was angry man, Roland. Well, do you do you do a good job of hiding it? I suppose most folks didn't see it. Honestly, you're the angriest man I ever known.